Power Query is one of the most powerful tool of Excel. Either you are a learner or a pro, Power Query is going to be a real life saver. Either you are cleaning data or analyzing it, Power Query is going to do it within friction of seconds. Today we will see how we can use Power Query in Excel to minimize our workload. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a messy data on which we are going to work today. This data is really vast and the data has got many issues like employee ID and designation are together, first name and last names are not in proper format, dates are in general format. When we come to right hand side, I have got sales and sales target over here. But there's no comparison between sales and sales target. So we will have to calculate that. Purchase date and shipment date. We will have to calculate the difference over here also. So we will have to insert few extra columns. So it's real challenge to manage the data as it's going to take lots of time. If we will do data cleaning one by one. So Power Query is going to ease our work. This is the data before using Power Query. And this is the data or format after using Power Query. Let's deep dive in the world of Power Query and see what it can do for us. The very first step to use Power Query, go to data. On the extreme left hand side, you will get the option of Power Query. Get data, Power Query. I'll click on the drop down and over here I got lots of options. I'll select Get Data, Power Query. The operation connects to an external data source. I'll do OK. Choose Data Source. And over here we have got lots of options. I'll click on Excel Workbook. Connection settings, select local file, browse, I'll click on browse and we got diverted to our files. My file is on desktop and this is the file what we are going to select. I'll click on get data. On the right hand side bottom, we get two options, cancel and next. I'll click on next. Over here, we got a prompt, select items from side panel to preview them. So we will go to side panel and in the side panel, I have got my data. I'll click over here and we can see the whole data now. When we come to right hand side at the bottom, we get the option of cancel, transform data and load. We will click on transform data. And our data is just in front of us, which is really messy. In the very beginning, I have got employee ID and designation and both the things are in a single column. So our first task is to divide them. I'll click on top and the heading color got changed to green. If it's green, just understand that you are going to work over there only. If I'll click on first name, the heading got green. In case you are using windows, the whole column will be in green. So I'll go to employee ID and designation. We'll right click the mouse. Over here, we get lots of options. I'll come to the center and we get the option of split column by delimiter and many other options are there. But I'll go ahead with by delimiter. Split column, specify the delimiter used to split the text column. We are in basic. Separator, I'll click on the drop down. So what's the delimiter for my data? It's column comma, equal sign, semicolon or space. So in our case, it's comma. So I have selected comma. Now I'll click on OK. Now employee ID and designation got divided in two columns. But when we see the headings, it's same in both the columns. So we will change this. This will be employee ID and this will be designation. To change this, you will have to double click on the heading and now you are ready to change it. Enter. When we see employee ID minutely, many IDs got repeated or we can say there are many duplicates. So now our task is to remove the duplicates. I'll click on top, we'll right click the mouse and over here we get the option of remove duplicates. We will click over here and all the duplicates got removed in a single click. Now let's come to the name. Over here I have got first name and last name and I want both the names in a single column but the names are not in proper format. So before putting both the data in a single column, we will have to clean it. We'll click on top and we'll check it got highlighted or not. So it's highlighted. Now we will go to transform. We'll come in the center and we get the option of format. We will click on the format. Over here, we can see lowercase, uppercase, capitalized each word, trim and clean. We will click on trim. So all the extra spaces got removed. We will go to format once again. And this time we will select capitalized each word. So the letter of first word got capitalized. We have got issues with last name also. We'll go to transform, format, trim. Again, we will go to format and we'll select capitalized each word. Now first name as well as last name got proper. Now we will put both the names means first name and last name in a single column. And over here we have got a trick. I want to put first name first 
and last name later. Now I'll click on first name, we'll press control and we'll select last name. In case you are using MacBook, you'll have to press command instead of control. We'll right click the mouse and we'll check our commands. So over here we have got the command of merge columns. I'll click over here, merge columns. Choose how to merge the selected columns. Separator. In case you don't want to keep any separator, go ahead with none. Otherwise, select from colon, comma, equal sign, semicolon, space, or tab. Or you can custom also. So I'll go ahead with space and we'll do OK. So first name and last name got merged in a single column. The heading got changed. It's written merged. We will do it full name. But just in the next column, we have got full name as a heading. So we will do it. Full name one, enter. Whatever we are doing in our data, it's getting recorded over here. In case you want to go back, you'll have to click on cross. Let's cross this. And again, we can see merged. Over here also, we will close this. And first name and last name got divided again. Let's take last name in the beginning and first name later. I'll click on last name first. We will press control. And now I'll press first name. We'll right click the mouse, merge columns. We'll click over here, separator, I'll use space and we'll do OK. So this time we can see last name in the beginning and first name later. We'll change the heading name, full name one. Perfect. Over here I have got full name and I want to divide full name in two different columns. Means we will do just opposite of what we have done right now. We'll click on the heading and the color will change. We'll right click the mouse, we will come in the center. And over here, we get the option of split column by delimiter, by number of characters, by position. We will select by delimiter. Split column, separator. What you want to keep as separator? Colon, comma, equal sign, semicolon, or space. We will select space and we'll do OK. And the names got divided in two different columns. In this data, all the employees are male. And I want to put Mr. or Sir just before all the names. So we will click on top, we'll go to transform, format, and over here we get the option of add prefix or add suffix. I'll click on add prefix. And what will be my prefix? It will be Mr. Dot, and I'll do OK. So Mr. got added just before all the names. In case I want to add suffix, I'll go to transform once again, format, and this time I'll select add suffix. And what will be the suffix? It will be monk. And I'll do OK. So the word monk got added after all the names. We'll click on the top once again. We'll right click the mouse, split column by delimiter. And this time my delimiter is custom. And that is dot. I'll do OK. And over here we can see Mr. And after that, full name including suffix that is monk. I really don't want this. I'll click on the top. We'll right click the mouse. Remove columns. I'll remove this. Now I have to remove suffix also. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse, split column, and this time we don't have any delimiter. We will go ahead with any other option by lowercase to uppercase or by uppercase to lowercase. Let's select by lowercase to uppercase and see what result we got. We got first names over here and all the suffix over here. Suffixes are not required. I'll delete this. Remove column. Perfect. Just one thing to notice, whatever tasks we have performed till now, all the tasks got recorded. In case you will close any task from here, it will not be back through command Z or control Z. So keep in mind, I'll come to right hand side. Over here we have got date, but the date is in general format. We will click on top, we will go to transform tab and over here we get the option of whole number or data type. I'll click over here and now we will select date. And all the numbers got changed in date format. Let's try one shortcut over here. That is control one and it's not working. Means the shortcuts that work in Excel may not work in Power Query. I'll click on date. Over here, we can see a drop down. Let's check what this. It's just a filter. I'll cancel this. I'll come to right hand side. Over here, we have got the sales and all the sales are in decimals. I'll click on top. We'll go to transform data type. And from here, I'll select whole number. All the numbers got changed from decimals to whole numbers. Over here, we have got sales and sales target, but there's no difference in sales target and sales means we want to compare what's the difference. So we will have to subtract sales target from sales. 
or we can do the other way also we can subtract sales from sales target we are not going to insert any extra column we will click on sales we'll press control in case you are using macbook you will have to press command and now i'll select sales target in case you want to do this in other way just click on sales target first press control and select sales so in that case sales target will be subtracted from sales but we want to subtract sales from sales target so we will click on sales first we'll press control and we'll select sales target we'll go on top in add column in the center we get the option of standard i'll click on the drop down and what i want to do i want to add multiply subtract divide divide integer or modulo the details of all the heads are on left hand side i'll go to subtract it says create a new column that contains the value in the first selected columns we will select subtract sales is over here sales target is over here but where is the subtraction it got shifted to extreme right hand side automatically so how to take this in left just after sales and sales target i'll click on the heading and we'll drag it over here means just after sales and sales target and it got shifted very easily sales sales target and subtraction so we don't want to go with this name we will change the name and we'll do it difference enter now i want to put dollar sign on all the headings of sales sales target and difference i'll click over here we'll press control we'll select all three we'll go to transform data type is showing whole number i'll click on the drop down and we'll select currency now just see the data type dollar got inserted just before the headings and now we can easily differentiate that it's regarding amount over here we have got purchase date and shipment date and we want to check the difference means how many days it took for the shipment after the purchase date means we have to see the difference so i'll click on shipment date first we'll press control and we'll click on purchase date now i'll go to add column earlier this feature was active of standard because those figures were either in number or general format but these figures are in date format so what to do now as it's in date format we can see date on the top we'll click on the drop down and what we want to do we want to subtract days i'll click over here and we got the difference again it got shifted to extreme right hand side so we will click on head and we'll drag this just after the shipment date and what's this this is difference we have got one heading by the name of difference and that is over here let's put the name as difference and see what result we are going to get enter column name conflict a column name difference already exists i'll close this and we'll rename this as shipment versus purchase and we'll hit enter perfect let's come to right hand side my list of applied steps is getting bigger and bigger in case you don't want to see this go to view click on query settings and the window of applied steps got vanished i'll take it back to take it back you will have to again click on query settings i'll come to right hand side country i don't need this column i'll click on top we'll right click the mouse remove columns and the country name got deleted if i want to take it back i'll have to close it from here and the country name is back again i'll come to left hand side over here we have got sales and we want to rank the sales means who has done highest and who has done lowest we want to put this in proper rank i'll go to add column and over here we get the option of rank column i'll click on rank column rank specify the column to rank by and the rank criteria so basic and advanced options are over here rank by sales we have selected sales but in case you want to select any other thing click on the drop down and select whatever you are willing to from the list i'll go ahead with sales rank criteria rank values from high to low or low to high i'll select high to low and we'll do okay and all the ranks got inserted over here i'll drag this and we'll drop it over here so now we can see all the ranks so we have already seen many features till now we had removed columns also but what if we want to remove rows we'll go to home in the center we get the option of remove columns keep rows remove rows i'll click on the drop down and over here we have got limited options remove top rows remove bottom rows remove alternate rows remove duplicates remove blank rows remove errors but i think these features are not more than enough in case i have to remove any row from the center 
it's not possible to do from here means it's not possible to do in power query editor till date for that we will have to do some coding so this feature in power query is not effective we are not going to do anything over here means we are not going to remove any row i'll come to left hand side name of the employees are not in alphabetical order in case i want to arrange this in alphabetical order i'll click on top we'll go to home and in the center we get the option of sort from a to z or z to a i'll go ahead with a to z and all the names got sorted or got arranged in alphabetical order now we will see an amazing feature and that is replace values i'll click on designation we'll go to home we'll come to extreme right hand side and over here we get the option of replace values i'll click over here value to find and i want to find team member replace with i'll replace this with crew member and we'll click on okay from here all the team members got vanished and it got replaced with crew member in case you want to transpose your data click anywhere inside the data go to transform and over here you will get the option of transpose and the whole data got transposed very easily i'll close this means i don't want my data to be transposed close and my data got visible as earlier we had already seen how to move data from one place to another in transform also we have got the option move before after so designation is just before name i'll put it after name we'll go to move and we'll select after and the designation got moved after the first name in case you want to duplicate any column click on top go to add column and over here you will get the option of duplicate column just click over here and the duplicate got created and got transferred to extreme right hand side i'll take this in left we'll come to left side we'll take this in left again i'll come to left hand side and the duplicate is over here in case your data is really vast and you want to search any heading go to view over here you will get the option of go to column just click over here and search the heading i'll type country and we'll do okay just check the whole column of country got highlighted if i want to go to name i'll go to go to column and we'll search name we got three options full name 1 full name 0.5 full name 2 i'll click on first option that is full name and we'll do okay and from extreme right hand side we got shifted to extreme left hand side and that is name column in case you want to know about the shortcuts of power query just go to help and over here you will get the option of keyboard shortcuts just click over here and you will be diverted to learn microsoft.com when you will come down all the shortcuts are visible windows keyboard shortcuts mac os keyboard shortcuts so all the data cleaning work got done in power query we'll go to home and on the extreme left hand side we get the option of close and load i'll click over here and my data got changed in a very beautiful table we'll press control a or command a we'll go to home and we'll insert borders we'll change font style also we'll take all the things in mid we'll make this bigger in case you want to remove the filter buttons just go to table tab and just untick on filter button and all the filter buttons got removed in case you want to change the color of table it can be done from here select any color of your choice and in case you don't want your data in a table format go to table tab come to left hand side and over here you will get the option of convert to range just click on this alert just do okay and the whole data got converted to a range in case you want to change the color you can just remove this no fill the headings got invisible because it was in white font i'll select this and we'll put some desired color we'll take this in center so we covered all the things related to power query i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye